Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick update on the future of this channel. So I haven't posted in a long time and there's a good reason for this. When I first made this channel, I just wanted to cover Jimi Hendrix's songs and how to accurately play them with accurate tones to the originals. As for the longest time, as a beginner or a novice, I was trying to learn his works and either had no resources or just simply had inaccurate resources. Well, and even to this day, people just don't do his work justice with play tutorials or tone tutorials. So at first I thought I was doing a decent job of this and it seemed like I was doing a good job by the comments people were enjoying what I was doing. But in retrospect, I'm not overly impressed with the covers I did. And at this point, I can do a vastly better job nowadays as I've improved as a guitarist and I'm confident I could actually do his covers or do his works, you know, justice note for note at this point albeit not as good as the man himself i could get very very close the issue nowadays is the tone it's tabs and tones and i don't want to do one without the other and i simply can't get the tone accuracy without the real deal equipment amplitude and other emulation softwares are great pieces of software but when it comes to vintage tones specifically ones utilizing fuzz, it's simply impossible to come close. And as I'm a perfectionist, I wanted everything to be on point. So until I can afford to buy a host of fuzz pedals, amps, and someone to fix my god awful, you know, American Strat or Mexican Strat, I wish it was American Strat, and rewire it to Jimmy's modern wiring and among a host of just many, many nuances that add up to Jimi Hendrix's original tone, I'm not overly interested as of right now on making any more tutorials because I just can't come close. There are so many different nuances that come into Jimi Hendrix's tone. I mean, just as something as simple as the way he would pluck a string with like a mild pinch harmonic on Castles Made of Sand on the intro, uh, just the way his guitar was wired. He had this interesting setup with his guitar where he didn't have a five-way switch, so he would modulate the in-between positioning with a different wiring setup where with the tone knobs he could have like a half you know mostly neck pickup but then slightly in between with the middle pickup or he could go all the way out and have them both at the same time he could have all three pickups at once a lot of people don't realize these different nuances that i've spent you know the last six years of my life studying every little nuance of Jimi hendrix's you know tone and how to achieve it and there is so much there and so much of this information is, you know, hidden in articles of people that might have known, known a guy who knew a guy who knew, you know, a Roger Mayer or a Seymour Duncan who knew these little nuances that equate to what is Jimi Hendrix's tone. So at this point, if I had the resources, I'm pretty confident that I could get the tone or very close to the original tone, but that's just a lot of money. So regardless... Apologies for any disappointment. Perhaps one day I will have the resources to get what I need to get close to a Jimi Hendrix tone. Thank you for the support thus far and uh, bye.